There are a number of items that you can set in a weighted gradebook globally. And it's best to set these items globally than using than going on an individual grade item and setting them on there. So in this particular case, when you're in the manage grade area, you click on the settings link. You're going to see three tabs, personal display options, org unit display options, and calculation options. This tutorial is going to talk to you about the org unit display options. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that tab. The org unit display options, um, most of these affect the student's view of the gradebook, specifically the student's view. So it's real important that you watch this video because I'm going to kind of show you from the student perspective what the student's seeing and what they're not seeing when you make these changes. Now what's interesting is that the first item, managing view display options, uh, this option is only for instructors. So even though this tab affects mostly students view, this one actually affects the, your instructor's view. This is the number of decimal places to display. This controls how many decimals will be displayed to the user uh, grading, uh, user grading a, a course. The values are between uh, 0 and 5. So by default, it's 2. So if I don't want 2, let's say I only want 1, I'll choose 1 and click Save. And now I'll close this. And I'm going to go to the Enter Grades area. And I'm going to go ahead and let's look at Enter. Um, let's go ahead to Grade All here. And I'm going to put in here 4.56. Oops, let's do this way. 4.56. And I'm going to go ahead, save, and close. So let's see what happens now. When I do that, you notice it round up to 4.6 because I chose to only have one decimal point um, show. So if I wanted to have zero decimal points, then let's see what happens. And again, this is your view, not the student's view in this particular case. Notice it went to 5, so it rounds up. So depending on what you want to do in that particular case and how many decimals you want displayed, um, you can have a choice. Again, the default is 2. So the next item is the student view display options. So again, these options will affect student's view of the gradebook. So let's, let me show you this. So the first one is points grade. Uh, this setting determines whether or not the point grade value associated with the grade item is displayed to the student. If that's not checked, they wouldn't know what the point value is. Weighted grade, that's checked by default, um, is shows the weighted value of the associated grade item. Uh, the grade scheme symbol well, this, this, this setting determines whether or not the grade scheme symbol associated with the grade item is displayed to the student. And then finally, grade scheme color would display how many, um, what color it is based on the grade scheme. So I'm going to just leave this the way it is for now. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to close this. And what I'm going to do is go into the Enter Grades area. And I'm going to choose a specific student. And one of the nice things I can do is click on the little context menu and click preview. And this is specifically what the student is seeing. This is the specific student's view of the gradebook. So you'll notice it'll say weight achieved and points, and then it'll have a grade for, the, for each item. Um, you'll notice the points aren't there. So now let me minimize this and let me go back into the settings again and start messing around with some of these settings. So if I choose to have the point value and not the weighted, and I click Save on that, and now I'll bring up the students thing here, and I'll go ahead and refresh. Notice that now it shows the points and not the weight achieved. Because the weight students may not understand the weight achieved when it comes to a weighted gradebook but they may understand the points. And then this item right here, this grade, is the grade scheme symbol, which is the percentage scheme. This color is the grade scheme color. If you don't want a color, then uncheck the color. Maybe I want the weighted and all that. So again, you get to make your choices here. And I'll cl close that. Oops. And, and let me bring up the student view again and now I turned off a color here and now they see the weight achieved 
What's important with the weight achieved, you'll see right here, is that they can then understand that they got 15.56 out of the 30 possible points um, for this particular category in this particular weight. All right, let's go back to the settings. So now we'll go back to the org unit display options. And now you choose how many decimal points you want to display to the student. This is similar to what we did up here, but you'll notice that I can again have a different amount for me to see and for the student to see. Don't worry about this one. This one is kind of really important, display how the final grade was calculated to the user. That's kind of a useful one for the student to understand that the, how the final grade is calculated. And then you can allow the users to have their grades to their ePortfolio if you're using the ePortfolio. I'll go ahead and click Save on this one just so you can see what this looks like. And I'll go ahead and refresh that. And you'll notice that the final grade isn't there because I haven't released it to the student yet. So that's how the student's display is affected by the settings.